Welcome, this is um, the next LXLD1 uh, tutorial in this video. Um, we're going to be looking at, well, see the title is called Root Inspection. I'm going to just be clarifying, um, starting by clarifying the dist uh, distance, uh, difference between uh, Eulerian, non Eulerian, and semi Eulerian graphs. Okay, um, and then the algorithm which is associated with this is something called the Chinese uh, Postman algorithm, or um, you know, it's probably just being racist, just AXL being racist. So, um, yeah, there you go. So, anyway, as I said, kick off with something very, very easy to understand. Um, the, there's three types of graphs that you need to be aware of. Obviously, you know what a graph is, but this just kind of breaks it down a little bit more. Okay, there's something we call the Eulerian graph. That essentially is where all nodes are, are, have an even degree of or valency. Okay, so all nodes are even. So what we mean by that, okay? is essentially, so we've got a node, say this is node A, it's got two arcs coming off it, okay? So it's got a degree of two. So therefore B will have a degree of two as well, and um, C and D also have a degree of two. That just shows that they all have an even degree. These could have a degree of six, there could be six arcs coming off D, but I've just chosen two for each, just to highlight the difference. Now if you were to draw in the Eulerian graph without taking your pen off, uh, in other words, map out every line without going over one line twice, you would end up, okay, where you started. So I'm going to label it as mapping out by, like this. So if we use that graph, okay, so back where we started, okay, in other words, there. Okay, so hopefully said that makes a little bit of sense. But you can come up with your own graphs, that was a very, very basic one. But anyone where each node um, has a degree valency of that is even. Okay, so all nodes are even for your layering graph. Uh, when you map them out, you end where you start and where you started. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is something called a semi Eulerian graph. This is where um, we've got essentially a graph where there are two odd nodes, okay? So a semi Eulerian graph is where we have um, two odd nodes, and then obviously, therefore, you can quite clearly see from the rest of that that. Um, all the other nodes will be even. And if you were to do the same thing as we did for the the, the urine graph, where you try to draw without taking your pen off, um, you will you will start. You can do it. But you will start at one node and then a completely different one, and end up at another after mapping it out. Okay. And then we have obviously one that is neither of those. So a non-Eulerian graph. And this is where we have at least three, or in other words, greater than two, so more than two odd nodes. And you can't map this out, okay? More than two odd nodes without altering it, okay? So then obviously it would no longer be a non-Eulerian graph, okay? So basically, can't map these out. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at in the next little bit is how to turn uh, a non Eulerian graph Eulerian. Okay, and we do that through the Postman, um, Chinese Postman algorithm. Okay, which what I'm going to do, I think it's best emphasized through uh, a question. So, what I'm going to do is, as I said, I'll, I'll just give you a second if you did want to copy them down, but they are quite easy to understand. You don't really need to know. The specifics for the exam terms of this last little extra point I've put on each of them. Um, it's just really the, the stuff about the nodes, okay? But as so I'm just going to rub all that out in a second and we're going to move on and I'll uh, show you a question using a Chinese postman, postman algorithm and um, then we'll go through that question. I think it's best explained through that, okay? So if you want to just give, copy them down, we'll be moving on in a second. Hello and welcome back. Okay, so what I've drawn here is uh, just a graph, okay? 
um, and it's a non eulerian graph. And obviously, we have to make it eulerian to be able to work out the mapping. Okay, now what I've done here is listed all the odd nodes, which is m, n, p, and r. Okay, and you can obviously quite see, clearly see. Um, Oh, sorry, missed up. Uh, name, do apologise. Uh, yeah. Don't mistake else. No, yeah. So the odd nodes, obviously, M, N, um, not missed up one from N, yeah, yeah. Uh, P and R, okay. So, I just wanted to actually, just probably should have stated something before. So what, we, what we're interested in here is working out the, the weighting, so the total time, if these are a unit of time to get from n to n or distance, we want to work out the total time or, or distance, whatever this weighting might represent, to go along each arc of the graph, okay? Now in a um, like Eulerian graph, all we simply do, because we end up where we start when we map out, when we draw it with just are keeping our pen on the graph on the paper okay we end up back where we started so we don't need to go back across any um any arcs okay so a eulerian graph um to work out the mapping of one of those you simply add uh, the weighting of all the arcs However, for a semi-Eulerian and um, non-Eulerian, okay, so I'll just put the other two types, which obviously you know what I mean. Okay, so for semi-Eulerian and non-Eulerian graphs, what you do is you um, work out the total weighting, so you add 4, 10, 15, 5, 2, 11, 7, 6, 9, Okay, so you work out the total weighting, so you add all of that together, so add the total weighting of all the arcs, okay, and you add that to something, uh, an answer when we work out, so you add that to um, the answer to your Chinese Postman algorithm. Okay. So obviously we need to work out what this Chinese Postman algorithm is. I've kind of talked about it, but I've not explained it at all yet. But don't fear, the master's here. Okay, so the first thing you do, the first step, is you pair these together. In other words, the first pair that you would choose is um, M and N and P and R. Okay, so that would be your first pair. So you need to get to, you add the weighting to get to, because what we're doing here is working out all, the, the total weighting of all the arcs. And then obviously because it's an odd, has an odd number of arcs, we have to go back to where we started, okay? And in other words, we have to go back across one or two of the arcs, okay? In other words, we have to go back and back across these ones that have odd nodes, okay? Because that's where we're going to end up. So you add M and N to P and R. That's your first pair. And then you add M and P to N and R. Okay? And then, sorry, yeah. And then the other pair, the other pair, okay, is um, M and R with N and P. Okay, so what we're doing is going from M to N, P to R, working out total weights and adding them together, working out M to P and N to R, adding the total weights together, working out M to R and N to P, and working out the total weights and putting them together. Okay, so if we do that, well, we've got to get from M to N, well, that's simply four, okay, because we can go there directly, so you just put it back into four. We want to get from P to R, okay? Now obviously there's many ways uh, that we can do this. Peter, have I drawn that one? Oh, sorry, there's one thing that uh, I've okay. missed, I do apologise. Sorry, it's because I've um, 
done my working done here and I've not quite filled it in. One sec, let me make sure I've. Uh... Right, okay, yep, it's definitely right. Yeah, so anyway, so we can go from P to Q and Q to R. Now we could go from Q to R of 7, we can also go Q to R as 3, okay? So it's 2 plus 3. I do apologise, which is obviously 5. So you 5 plus your 4, uh, which quite clearly gives you 9. Okay, now we work out M to P. Well, M to P, we can just go M to. Um, M to, because we need to do it the least weighting, so you just do that by observation, M to N, N to Q, and Q to P. So in other words, adding 4 plus 5 plus 2, which is quite clearly 11. Okay, and N to R, well, R's over here, you can just go uh, 5, so N to Q, which is 5, and Q to R, which is 3. Now, admittedly, we could have gone R, N to R, but that's greater weighting, that's 11. Okay, this N to Q and Q to R has only got a weighting of 8. Okay, so you do 11 plus 8, which gets, which gets you 19. N to R, well, obviously that is um, 6, okay, because we can just go straight there. N to R is 6, okay, and N to P, well, N to P is just 5 plus your 2, okay, because you're going to 5 plus 2, so it's obviously just 7, okay. So if you work that out, you obviously just get 13. So the greatest, the, and then you choose the pairing of the least weighting, okay, which is obviously this first pairing, which is a total of nine, okay, nine years, whatever this weighting might represent. So weighting, total weighting of nine, okay. So that's your step. So, um, yeah. So your first step is, sel is um, selecting all the odd nodes, and then your second um, step is working out. Uh, the pairings, okay, so M to N and P to R, M to P and N to R, M to R and N to P. And then the third step is work out the weightings of each pairing, okay. So we said to get from M to N, N to M. M to N, that was a weighting of 4, P to R was a weighting of 5, and you repeat that for each um, pairing you have and add up the totals. So our first pairing totaled to 9, which was the least, okay. So you choose that pairing. And then what you do is... Um, because I've already worked out the total weighting of this graph, which is uh, 72, okay, so the total weighting is 72, you add that to the 9, which gets you 81, okay? And why have we added this 9? Well, as I said, because we're going to end up at points where we need to go back, okay? I'm just going to draw on with a blue pen now. Essentially, what we're doing is adding on these paths that I've already suggested in this pairing, okay? So I said to get from N to N, um, was it just a straight four? But we need to go back across that, so we need to add another line. I'm going to add in blue, okay? And to get from P to R, well, what I said, uh, we started at P, we wanted to get to R, so we went back across um, this P to Q, okay? And we also went back across Q to R, okay? So we've just got a weighting of two and three. So we've added a total weighting of that, okay? Which Four plus three plus two equals this nine here, and you add that to the total weighting because we've already gone across each arc, but now we need to go back across each arc, some of the arcs again, okay? So you don't want to go across uh, all the arcs again, okay? So that'd be the least weighting, and this is the total um, time we'd need to go back, okay? So hopefully it makes a bit of sense now. Obviously, you, you will have the main variation of, on this will be obviously different graphs, but you need to pick all the odd vertices. Now, for this to work, I know this is going to sound stupid, but really, what you need is an even number of odd vertices. Now, we, uh, sorry, odd nodes. Now we've got four odd nodes. That's an even number of odd nodes. So we you could have a two two odd nodes, or six odd nodes, or four odd nodes, or eight odd nodes, um, because there is an even number of odd nodes. Okay, so it might mess with your brain a little bit, but I don't really care. Okay, and, and obviously the reason for that is because then you will be able to make these pairings as we've done here. Obviously if you have an odd number, you're going to have one pairing and you're going to have M to N and then just R, for example. And you're going to just get from R to R, it's got a weighting of zero, so it's pointless. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Now, I will go over some more, but it's a very, very simple kind of principle um, and it's just applying questions so I'll just go through this through it all again so we said 
Eulerian graphs where um, it, all the nodes are even, okay, when we say all the nodes are even, what we mean is the number of lines coming off them, or arcs is the correct term, or edges, um, uh, there's an even number for each node, okay? But a semi-Eulerian graph has t has all even nodes apart from two, which are odd, obviously, and then a non-Eulerian graph has where there are greater than two odd nodes, okay? We can turn the semi-Eulerian graph or a non-Eulerian graph um, if we want to map out all of them, because obviously we end if if we map out a Lyrian graph, we just add the weightings of all the arcs together, because obviously we end up where we start. Okay, so we don't need to add go back across any arcs. But a semi-Lyrian graph, we um, we end up we start somewhere, we end up somewhere else. Okay, another node. So we need to go back across some of the um, nodes, okay? So that's why we, we come up with this Chinese Postman algorithm, which also applies to the non eulerian graph, which has just got uh, more than three, more than two um, odd nodes, okay? But it, to, for the Chinese Postman algorithm to work, it must have an even number of odd nodes, but it will be given in the exam, so um, don't be too bothered about that, but hopefully it's a bit of a giveaway. Don't think there's any other form that we use to calculate this, but that's the idea. Okay, um, so to work out the total weighting or the mapping of each uh, of the uh, odd, each of the graphs have an odd number, uh, sorry, even number of odd nodes, okay, even now I get it wrong, you see, we have to use the Chinese postman algorithm, which says we identify all the odd nodes and then identify potential pairings. So the first thing that I did was put the first two together and the last two together, and then the first and the third the second and the fourth, and then the first and the fourth, okay? Obviously, you could do it in any order. I just put M and M, P to R to be the first pair. It doesn't matter. And you work out to get from M to N, and then you work out to get from P to R in the least weighting. And you'd repeat that for each pair. Obviously, it might not be N to N you're working out, okay? Um, and it might be direct, it might not. Okay, and then you choose the pairing with the least weighting and add that to the total weighting of the graph, okay, to work out uh, the total mapping, so how far you will need to go and obviously some roads you will need to go back over okay and the reason we choose the least is because we want to make it in the shortest time okay so uh, to cover all of the arcs all right um but obviously you need to remember when you've done m to m if it's not direct you need to draw the path you followed okay but as i said hopefully uh, that can kind of help now if you've got any particular questions you want me to attempt uh, please do send them through uh, in the comments, I'll put a link to it and I will uh, do a video for you. But as I said, I didn't really fancy doing too many questions on that because they are very, very similar if you follow the step by step method. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, very similar if you follow the step by step method. And in that sense, they're also uh, fairly quite easy as well. But um, at the end of the day, there's nothing too difficult about them. It's just said following a method. Sometimes they will, um, obviously, generally in the exam, look at a bit of a background, but it's pointless. You need to pick out the key bits, as you always do with questions. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hopefully it's been helpful, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.